As a wedding photographer or editor, you definitely have to try this type of exposure. Let's dive into Photoshop and create it step by step together. So first of all, create a new document from file new 1924 width and 1084 height and change the background color to this one. Press OK, create. So I'm going to import my first image with drag and dropping or you can go from file, place MDIT, choose your file and place it to the canvas. And after that, I'm going to take my move to from its option bar, three dots and set align to canvas, align it perfectly to the center just like this. I'm going to zoom out pressing Alt and my mouse wheel, then press Ctrl Command T to adjust the size and position like this. Okay, I think it's fine. Press enter, pressing control command zero to fit it on the screen. Now it's time to separate our subject from its background. So make sure that the layer is activated. Go to the toolbar and right click, take quick selection tool and from its option bar, click on select subject. Guys, remember that always check the selection after this process. I'm going to zoom in. It's actually did a good job. I'm going to take my lasso tool right there. If it's needed to add some parts to the selection, you have to press and hold shift and add this part, for example. And if it's needed to delete some parts from the selection, press and hold alt and for example, delete this area easily just like this all right let me check the other parts it actually did a good job for me as you see yeah it's definitely fine let me add this part also everything is cool all right now from its option bar choose select and mask guys from its settings make sure to active color ever algorithm and after that from the option bar choose refine hair i like to brush some parts for example this parts so from this toolbar I'm gonna take brush tool like this zoom in and brushing these areas just a little bit like a touch right not too much Okay, everything is fine. After that, from global refinements, I'm gonna decrease shift edge to minus 5%. And after that, set output to new layer with layer mask, then press OK. Let's take a look at the before and after. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Pressing Ctrl Command 0 to fit it on the screen. All right, it's time to add our silhouette image. I'm gonna drag and drop it just like this as you see we still have some colors and it's not actually a silhouette but it's close to it so i prefer to darken these parts a little bit so from the toolbar i'm gonna take my burn tool and from its option bar set the range to shadows with 90 percent exposure and i'm gonna brush my subject the first one do a single click and don't leave the click guys Brush the area like this. All right, after you're done, go to the next one, do a single click and again, hold the click, brush the areas perfectly like this. It's fine. Press Ctrl Command T to adjust the size and position. And before that, decrease the opacity to around 50% so we can see what's going on. I'm going to zoom out and adjust in the size and position like this. All right, I think it's fine. After that, press enter and increase the opacity to 100%. Now it's time to use clipping mask. So from the layers panel, active this image, move your cursor between two layers, press and hold Alt. Do a single click just like this 
then we need to add a layer mask and hide the extra part so add a layer mask active the layer mask then take your brush make sure that the foreground color is black because we are working on a white mask if it's not press x on your keyboard gonna zoom out and brushing this part like this all right after you're done with brushing let's just decrease a little bit its opacity i'm gonna press ctrl command zero to fit it on the screen then back to the layers panel active the layer and i'm gonna decrease its opacity like around 75 it's fine maybe 82 it's much better let's add our last image as a background overlay so from the layers active the background i'm gonna drag and drop it right here note that it has 20 percent for opacity and i'm gonna adjust the size and position like this press ctrl command t and do the process all right it's fine after that press intel and we should give a smooth transition to the bottom part so make sure its layer is activated and add a layer mask just like this press g which is gradient tool and from the option bar make sure that it's set to black to white then press ok and do a single click create a gradient on its layer mask let's take a look at the before and after before that i'm gonna press ctrl command zero before after before after then change its blending mode from normal to luminosity like this it's time to add our text layers i actually added this text with this font and with this color code and after that active topmost layer press and hold ctrl command alt shift e so what just happened here we merged all the layers and copied into a new one then press and hold ctrl command shift a to open camera raw filter and i'm going to apply my previous settings i added some effects and a little bit of details right there and also a bit of calibration pressing ok your final layer is ready for exporting press and hold ctrl command alt shift s i'm gonna zoom out a bit press save and for example write a name pressing save and it's ready to share it with your friends hope you enjoyed this tutorial if yes please do a favor thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for new upcoming videos i also recommend you to watch the tutorials after this one thanks for watching again and good luck